Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Legends of Frontera video, this time featuring a deck I like to call Transformers. Why is it called Transformers? Well, it is a Nidalee and Nar deck featuring the new card introduced in the variety patch yesterday, the Valley of Imitation. Now, let's give this card a quick read. So, the Valley of Imitation is a 3-mana landmark, Sharima landmark, that says when you play a follower, transform me into an exact copy of it this round, I retain granted buffs. Now, guys, I don't want you to underestimate for a single second this last line. I retain granted buffs. This is actually nuts. And the reason is Chief Nakotak. So, as some of you already know, Chief Nakotak is when an ally transform, fully heal it, and grant it plus one, plus one, and impact. So, the Valley of Imitation transforms, and Chief Nakotak is on board, you actually get the buff, and you get to keep it whenever you're transforming. So, it does not matter if you, let's say, have the Valley of Imitation on board, and you play an all rain Trooper, and he gained the plus one, plus one from Chief Nakotak, and then you play an Avenging Vestaya, <coughs> the Avenging Vestaya, oh, that was a nasty voice crack, and... <laughs> okay, and then uh, fo follow with me, follow with me. And yeah, so you play the Avenging Vestaya, and after you play the Avenging Vestaya, it will actually be a 5-5 five five with two impacts, not a 4-4. Four four. That's actually nuts, because it retains the buff from the all terrain trooper. This is insane and just game winning. And the fact that most opponents don't have landmark removal, especially now when Volts of Nessus are out of the meta, more and more people just find themselves cutting landmark removal from the game, that's phenomenal. A phenomenal combo. And of course, don't forget about the line, when you play a follower, that's actually important. So remember, it's when you play a follower and not when you transform. I've had this mistake happen to me a couple of games and you know, you learn, you learn. It's okay, it will happen to you and you will learn from it. You will learn to get used to it. So when you play a follower, so that's mean if you want to play the Aurora Hal <coughs> Halunatis, you can play it and then the landmark will transform to it, and when the landmark transform, the effect of the Aurora Halunatis will happen. So when I transform, summon a, you know, Aurora Halunatis, it summons a copy. Uh, well, actually not a copy, it summons, you know, another of himself. So, yeah, what you should do is if you have the landmark on board, you should hard cast it. Don't ambush it, because if you ambush the shadow in the brush, it, the Valley of Imitation will transform to the Shadow in the Brush, so, you know, take this into consideration. Uh, you should always hard cast the Aurora Halunatis, because you will get the effect, and it's essentially, you know, just better, right? Because if you transform it, you just make it a, a brush, and then you lost a lot of stats, and you didn't get the effect, and you have to pay extra mana for this effect, because it's Ambush 4. So you just need to drop it for 3 mana, and then you get the effect, and you get basically three copies of the Aurora Halunatis, which is insanely good, um, you know, spread. That's just really, really good. And yeah, uh, of course, we got the Curious uh, Changelings. When a Light Follower transforms into another Follower, transform into exact copy of it. Obviously, uh, we want this alongside our Valley of Imitation. Reason is the Towering Paraphant, which is the finisher of this deck. And again, just like I said before, you should always hard cast the, the Towering Paraphant, unless, unless, unless you have the Changeling on board, then you want to transform, because, you know, you want to activate the, fear, the Curious Changeling effect. But if you have the just the Valley on board, you can hard cast the Towering Paraphant and, you know, just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, Lister. That's an insane combo, and you will see this in the future games. And, of course, two copies of the Big M Tycoon for value, and the sweet, sweet buffs double power and health. Crazy. Now, in terms of combat tricks, we do have three copies of Quicksand, and, uh, you know, uh, three copies of Prowl, naturally. Now, with that being said, uh, I do think you need to keep the... Where is it? Yeah. 
The I really think you need to put copies of Ruthless Predator. I haven't kind of found a spot for it yet. Maybe I will take the face check down. Even though it was a valuable card, uh, I might I might just take this one down and actually put some Ruthless Predators and take some more cards and actually put the Ruthless Predator in because I really did felt like I needed this extra two attack. Uh, especially when I have so many Overwhelmers, right? And Needly with a Quick Attack. So, and of course now with a Quick Attack and Overwhelm. So, I really felt like Ruthless Predator was a fine addition to this deck. I haven't kind of got the opportunity to still, you know, use it. I was kind of, you know, on and off about it. So, I would highly recommend you actually try putting this into your deck. I probably will in my next iteration. Uh, but this is without... A single doubt in my mind, a really incredible deck, absolutely feel like a tier 1 deck, I'm climbing masters with it currently and it just does fantastic, it does wonders. And also, the most important part, it's just really fun to play. <laughs> you know, that's at the end of the day what I am looking for, I am looking for a competitively viable deck that are also fun to play. So yeah, I would highly recommend you playing this deck or at least give it a try. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is the end of the deck guide. And with that being said and done, let's continue into the games. Oh, Fizz and Samira. Oof. Okay, we have to be hyper quick. Oh, you know what? Quick. Quicksand is actually pretty nice. You know, I'll, I'll keep a quicksand. Oh my god, dude, I got all spells. I have like nine spells in this deck. That's actually crazy. Oh my god. Okay, but at least we got a Needly, which is perfect. <clears throat> okay. That's actually really good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play Needly. And obviously Prowl, if needed. Or lose the chance. Perfect. So I can actually defend against Samira. This is great. So I assume he's going to use the Challenger. I mean, that's just what makes sense to me. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, I hate Fizz. I hate Fizz so much, dude. I'm not even joking. Yep, that's the Challenger. So, let's Prowl first. See if he's gonna plunder and have some kind of a response. Sure. Follow me. Now we use the Quicksand. And he doesn't even get the... Uh, yeah, the Flare. <clears throat> awesome. Ooh, you swindle. Yeah, free value. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, man. So pathetic. Thank you for the hit. Now you're about to get Gnard. Dude, what a nerd. I hate Fist Samira players so much. Okay. Bee da da ba whoa. Okay, so now. Oh my god, look at the level up animation. No! Sick. <laughs> Dude, I love this level up animation. Okay, so actually we don't care about damage or him drawing cards even. We, we're not gonna let him power the pandemonium. We're just gonna win. So that's 100% a value of imitation. And then we're actually gonna save the spell mana. Because I actually kind of want to play the Avenging Vestaya, or maybe the Terrain Trooper, for some nasty attack. Okay, great. That's a valley. Okay, I mean, he did attack, so we have plunder. I don't care, my dude. I really do not care. What an annoying card, though. What a, really, honestly, what an annoying card, dude. Every time I see this card, I, I get furious. 
you get to see three cards of your opponent hand and pick one. That's crazy. That's nuts. For one mana. That's insane. <clears throat> but at least you have no mana. So that's totally fine. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, dude, he just... He will just keep playing one drops. Man, this deck is so annoying to be against. Um... I'm holding myself not to tilt. It's, it's actually so annoying when your opponent plays like million cards and you can't do anything. Okay, so now we do this. Obviously, we're gonna do that. It's so funny that it actually turns to the shadow in the brush, but you know, still. Okay, so we did stole the Vestaya, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh-huh. And we're gonna do this, because why not? This here. And this can trade. Yep, yeah, th this is the play. And we actually have a puzzling signpost, which is fantastic. <clears throat> and we just need to overwhelm him. That's it. Yeah, another swindle. That's another avenging Vestaya. That's totally fine. Because we actually don't have spells. So, so it's super funny. Okay, he did take this one. I mean, makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Million one cost spell. Very cool, very cool deck, my man. And he never runs out of gas. That, that's the funniest part. He play, he play all these cards and he never runs out of gas. I'm already down to four cards. He does not run out of gas. What? What? What was that? What was what, what was that play, man? What? That was question <laughs> questionable at the best. And what a weird play, bro. Mother, you are mere prey. Oh, what a level up! Oh my god, dude, what a sick level up! Oh my god. Oh man, <clears throat> I wish Nar gave me a poke stick. But it would be too broken. So now the valley actually returns. So if we can get Nakotak Chieftain, that would be huge. Nakotak Chieftain top deck, maybe? Oh my god, that's insanely good. That is insane. That is legit crazy. Wow, possibly game-winning. So I do need to play the Avenging Vestaya here. Yep. Hmm. So we know we can't play anything. Uh, that's why he's doing it. Well, you know what? Holding him hostage isn't that bad either. That's that's fine. Just like we practiced. Uh, faith check. Yeah, definitely this. Let's pass. I mean, if you want to play the passing game, I'm down, bro. Like, it does not matter to me. I, I win. It literally does not matter to me. Okay, the barb chain. Sure. Now he's gonna attack, and now that I know that he does not have any mana, I'm gonna trade. Yep. And let's do this. Let's do this.
You know what he lost. And now, let's end this match. Uh huh. Wait, when you. Oh, right, it's when you play a follower. Oh my god. <clears throat> I should have played it, I should have uh, played it. Oh, that, w that was my bad, that was definitely my bad. Okay, I, I don't think it ended up mattering. Ooh, what a misplay. How did I miss that when you play a follower? I, I always forget, I always forget. Need to remember that. But still didn't end up mattering, it's Samir Fizz. Uh, GG though. <laughs> Samir Fizz player, down. My family will feast tonight. Indeed. Bard and Nora. Interesting. Oh, he's trying the new card. Okay, the one drop. Uh, oh, we got our own one drop. That's cool. Uh, definitely to Abyssal Hook stays. Valley of Imitation. I can go from now. I kind of want something solid, maybe like in Italy. Well, that's the highest card in my deck. Kind of sucks. Okay, I really wanted an ambush card, like a cheap one. But the Avenging Vista is actually not that bad. Wait, how? What is this? <laughs> uh, I never did. I never did see the full art. I thought this was eyes. It was actually like his children. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at that! Look at that guy. Actually pinned to the tree there, or whatever that is. <laughs> Curiosities lie ahead. Chief Nakotak. Okay. That's actually really, really good. <clears throat> so maybe we get a cheap ambush card. Could be really great. Uh, no, we got Gnar. So let's play Chief Nakotak. Puka Puka! Okay, sure, yeah. We got it out of him, that's good. Okay, so now I really need to play the Avenging Vestaya. And the good thing is that we can counter something he plays here. Okay, Conchologist <clears throat> is fine. Cover is the weight below. So let's see if he plays something here. He does. That's great. Okay, so we have a pretty solid attack with Gnar. Oh, that's actually good. Naboga. So now we have the Curious Changeling. When an allied follower. Okay, so we do need a follower, so it does not work on Gnar. Ah, oh, we're kind of close to the big M Tycoon, which is also kind of great. Yeah, I know he's gonna have Bard. That's totally fine. We all attack. We have Prowl. Yeah, dude, he forgot about the Prowl. I, I guess he did. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, people forget about the Prowl. I get that. Nobody really plays Nidalee. I get that, man. Oof. Feels bad. Yeah, that probably lost him the game. No! Oh, love this level up animation so much. All oh, right, and he's a six six now. Oh, sick! A puzzling pine po uh, pa sign post. That's insane. Pine post. <laughs> oh god. Okay, Maduli. Yeah, we're gonna play this. Ah, uh, Nidalee is. Actually, kinda okay. Yeah, we're gonna all attack. Now we're gonna play Nidalee. <clears throat> because we can transform and she gets the buff. Sadly, this does not turn into an Nidalee, but you know, that would have been totally busted. Oh, really interesting, a pass. Okay. So this 100%. 
And then I'll sacrifice this and this. Okay, so yeah, it had to be an all attack because you he gotta have some mean resources to actually deal with this board. Because this is a nasty open attack, so that's lethal. He does need to, you know, put some... Oh my god, no. Well, I do have the puzzling signpost. No way, it's a... Ooh! Oh, it's a GG! Oh my god, this deck is insane. And we actually have the bad opener. This wasn't like the elite deal opener. Oh my god. Insane. Jinx and Cannon, a classic. Okay, we do need to rush them down though. Uh, we did bid a Samira Fizz, so... Ah, uh, Prowl. Okay, the Nar definitely goes away, this one definitely goes away. Uh, let's aim for cheap ambush. Maybe cheek fnac attack would be. Oh my God! What are the odds? What are the odds of this to happen? Oh my God! I'm literally playing with three dead cards in my opening hand against aggro. For a hero. That's actually crazy. I'm actually in top deck mode. Yo, that's actually nuts. That's actually crazy. I'm legitimately playing with three dead cards. That's insane. D oh my god, dude. Okay, I have no idea how do I recover from this. <clears throat> okay, the Avenging Vesta is actually kinda good. We do wanna drop the Needly first. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't really mind, bro. Let's do this. And you know what? Let's actually block with the Nidalee. I mean, why not, right? We do have the Nidalee Prowl. And lightning. Oh, wait. That kind of reveals it. Yeah, okay, you know what? Sure. I mean, I mean it kind of reveals it, but... What can you do? Yeah, he knows, he knows I can transform Nidalee. So he does have one more ping. But it's fine, Cannon died. Uh, so let's actually think. Oh wait, that's a huge top deck, actually. Uh, yeah, so we do this, and we transform Nidalee. That's awesome, that's a 7 attack Nidalee, that's actually crazy. Uh, that's 7 attack and 4 health, well now 2 health, but okay. Okay, so we do have to wait with the Avenging Vestaya. Oh, that really sucks. That's interesting. Why why is he playing this deck? The Return of Edge got Giga nerfed. That's why I'm so curious about what I'm so curious about. Another Nidalee? Oh my god, dude. I got so lucky. That's actually insane. That's actually insane. Okay, now I'll admit it. I, I got lucky. I <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I'll say no to that. Well, I'll say it like this, actually. Then. So now we got the mammoth, which is I I can't play it like this and I probably should, right? I mean, the wait, the ambush cost five, so I can play this for two, and then I can, yeah, okay, that's fine. Anything else? <laughs> okay, so naturally, we're gonna do this. Oh, oh that's awesome. 
sick, dude. That's one of the best animation in the game. That's crazy good. Oh my god. Unstoppable. Oh wait, he didn't block. Okay, that's an interesting call. Yeah, GG. Oh my god, we actually won with three dead cards in opening hand. That's crazy. Oh, nice. Samir and Fizz classic. Really good, really good. Uh, Quicksand is actually phenomenal, and Bristlehog and Needly is also really great. Okay. Okay. So we actually got a really powerful attack with the bristle bugs and then the needle transformed. That's actually huge. Warning shot. What? Wow, that was sad, my dude. That was sad. Oh my god. Well, at least now I know we have a quicksand. So, yeah, that was sad. Oh my god, that was desperate because that's a non champion, right? Oh, okay, did I? I? I wonder what this is. Okay. So he's gonna use it to remove the bris. Oh, what? Okay. Thanks. Oh my god, dude, what a misplay. What? If he passes, I'm passing. 100%. I just build a boy, dude, and I win. Maybe he thinks this is, like, the vulnerable one, and he doesn't want to play a fizz. Okay, let's pass. Barb Chain is fine with me, my boy. Let's Giga attack. If you want to trade, that's great. I don't want him giving vulnerable to the Chief Nakotak. Oh wait, it's still on Chief Nakotak anyway. I'm stupid. Okay, that's a lot of damage. And we can actually play the Bristle Hog here. And that's an Italy level up. Almost. Per oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god, what a top deck, dude. Okay, so we have two fleeting cards. Samira is fine. Yeah, we're gonna play this. Sure. Yeah. What what's the plan here, Chief? Ooh, flaring to give a challenger. Ooh. No, 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 my man. Just no. Then <laughs> He doesn't know! <laughs> Every option is bad. Uh, sure. Okay. Go for it. Uh, let's actually use the Prowl here. I mean, it gives plus two, plus two, so yeah, that's actually great. This one will be easy prey. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, that's great. Don't care about him getting back his tidally shot because I just win next turn. Because that's an idle level up with the Aurora... Hel 
Yeah, GG, man. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Uh...